Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. The Australian dollar has now plummeted more than 10% off the yearly highs. This all began at 81.35 and you can see from 81.35 is the market has crushed pretty much many supports now and now taking out the objective of 73.75 after posting a low of 73.46 overnight. This was the last uh, period of being challenged back in May 2017. Technically, though, we still appear to be heavy as the market challenges the support as I currently speak. There is minor support now seen at 73.65 and then down towards 73.20 to 72.55. Due to the immediate risk of the oversold conditions, I expect that the current sell-off may soon reach a point of short-term exhaustion and therefore could see a, a short-term rebound. However, with the commodity prices worsening overnight, with gold selling off and Aussie being a commodity-based currency, could see another bearish bout of challenges towards the support. Yesterday, the RBA published the minutes of its latest seat, uh, seating, and it would appear that the RBA has abandoned a crucial piece of language in the minutes of its last meeting by leaving questioning uh, now whether the central bank has reverted to more of a dovish tone from on its interest rates. After its meeting in April, May, the Reserve Bank include, uh, concluded in the current circumstances that members agreed that it was more likely the next move in the cash rate would be up rather than down. But this was left out. Also to note is that tonight the RBA Governor Phil Lowy is to speak. And uh, this is at uh, 11.30. So the market will be paying a little bit more attention to him to see what he has to actually say. So um, let's see if um, we can get a bit more of a clue of what the uh, central bank is thinking. Resistance is seen at 74.15. The euro overnight took a very heavy trampoline and the market did briefly um, slip beneath 116 and then looked towards the low of 115.30 before rebounding. Now, as you can see from the technical point, is that uh, the MACD, the stochastic, and also the uh, RSI is quite negative. One aspect, though, is that um, that's currently preserving the bearishness for the euro is that the US dollar did regain its uh, momentum last night from um, 94.15 to a post a high of 94.92, but didn't clear the, the level of 95. This is a crucial resistance, as if breached, would expose the next level of 97 to 98. But as I mentioned, it didn't happen. What all triggered this off was President Trump has threatened to impose 200 billion more uh, levies on Chinese goods. The trade dispute between the US and China escalated, with senior Trump officials accusing China of theft, and Beijing accusing the US of blackmail. So very interesting to see what will come out of that. Later, with, uh, as I mentioned, uh, Phil, the governor of the RBA, is speaking at 11.30, along with Mario Draghi, and also the governor of Japan, and also the Fed chairman, Jerome Powell. This is at a, a, at a speech at the European Central Bank in uh, Centra, in Portugal. So. Um, that's at 11.30, so keep your ears open towards that because it could most probably give a little bit of a turb, give some more turbulence for the US and as well as the US dollar. Well, the markets, as I mentioned not so long ago, that um, it did slip away from the uh, the high 110. It took a challenge at 109.60 overnight after posting a low of 109.54. The market has sort of rebounded, but not enough to get it out of the risk of a re-challenge to the downside. As I mentioned yesterday that I was a buyer of um, this level of 109.60, and my stop is 30 points lower, so around 109.25. If we do get another rebound, this would actually see a further rise and look up towards the region of 
110.55 to 111.15. The pound slips lower overnight, and as you can see, uh, now the next support holding is at 131.50.55. This may not hold, and quite surprisingly, is that the bulls are not defending any of these levels as the market so, so is selling off. The price now for the sterling has plummeted from 143.77 to 131.49. So there is a whopping um, 12 big figures. And the market is getting all prepared now for the Bank of England tomorrow at nine o'clock. It is expect, widely expected that the market will see the Bank of England hold rates at its current benchmark, le benchmark level at 0.50%. Uh, but this could all change in a heartbeat, of course, because the, sen uh, the sentiment is more towards a statement. And if it's more hawkish, then the market could see a recovery. And I'm not getting too bearish as we get in a little bit closer to this. Um, flat line of the RSI but that being said the initial support for a rebound comes in around the mid 130 level gold tumbled even further overnight and now failing to take out the um, the top side the market is still exposed to 1255 to 60 now I do expect to see demand from this level but with the Safe haven demand still lacking, does limit the upside and may see the resistance now capping around 78.82 on the day. And rounded off with oil, but the market slipped away from its gains from the previous day and still looks to challenge that level of 62.40 that I'm calling for. This is supported from the bearish flag and also the break of the broad uptrend after the rejection of $67 a barrel. I still am looking towards that region of 62.40 AC. So let's see if we can get down there in the next 24 to 48 hours. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the Interstate Report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.